And in an earlier video though, we did talk about entering commands into the command line. We mentioned the fact that there are command aliases. These are typically one or two keystroke long entries, some are more, that you use them to start a command. Like L for the line command. Instead of hunting for it on the ribbon, or instead of typing in the full word line, which honestly isn't really that difficult, but still, L, if I'm drawing lines all day, L saves me, well, let's see here, that's one keystroke that I have to type in no matter what. L-I-N-E, that adds three more keystrokes, and then I press enter. So if I draw 10 lines, that's saving me 30 keystrokes, or it's saving me 30 times where I have to go up to the line command and then back to where I'm drawing again. Just L, enter, and I'm gone. They're a big time saver, especially over time. Another example is C for circle, or M for move, or CP for copy, etc. Now, there is a file that's called the PGP file, and you can edit that to change these aliases if you want to. It's a simple text file that you can open up in Notepad, and you can just edit it. You can add to it, you can change it, but there is a set pattern or a way that you need to do this in order for it to function correctly. It's really easy to get to. Go to the ribbon and go to the Manage tab. Go to the Customization panel and then click on the Edit Aliases button. This will open up the PGP file in Notepad for you. Here's a little bit of legalese disclaimers saying, hey, if you mess with this file, you could really screw up AutoCAD, so be careful. And you know what? Yes, that is absolutely true. If you mess this up, the commands are still going to be there, like line or circle, but you're going to mess up the command aliases. So just be careful. You can scroll down all this part here. This is just giving you a bit of information on it. It's sort of a disclaimer so that Autodesk knows that you know what you're doing. Here are some examples of some things that you can do. Go down a little bit farther, and it gives you the format on how you need to type these in. Put in the alias, and then a comma, then an asterisk, and then the full command name. Yeah, it's really that simple. So let's look. Now, there's a command called 3D Array in AutoCAD. It's not there in AutoCAD LT because there's no 3D functionality in it. But you can type in 3D Array, or you can type in 3A. Much easier. That's a better solution for entering that command. So it's pretty simple. You put in the command alias that you want and then a comma, and then you just tab over until you line this up with the rest of the text just to keep it visually consistent. And then you type in the full command. Here's a shortcut for arc. Arc's only three letters, but still, it helps. It saves two keystrokes. So mathematically, you know, evaluating the savings in time, you're reducing the amount of time to start the arc command by two keystrokes. Now you need A, R, C, and then enter. So that's four. You're cutting your time to start the ARC command down by 50%. That's significant. And then you look at other things like this export to AutoCAD, and it's AEC to ACAD. In this case right here, what it's done is that this is an older command in AutoCAD that they don't want to get rid of, but they've replaced it with this command so that whenever you type it in, it will do this command. A little strange, I know, but that's what it is. So you can go through this entire list and look at all of the command aliases that there are. You can print this out and hang it up in your cubicle or on your wall or just study it. Put it on your refrigerator at home and every time you go to get a glass of milk, you'll be able to read and study these shortcuts. Now you can see in here that some of these commands will show up twice or more than twice even, like copy. Here's CO for copy. And then here's also CP for copy. There are a couple of reasons why some of this has happened. It used to be that people would customize these files in a pretty standard way. Some people didn't like that copy started with CP. They thought it didn't make any sense because copy is spelled C-O-P-Y. So they started editing the PGP file. Well, because you can and it's easy to do. So they put in CO. Well, Autodesk saw this and said, you know what? Let's default this in. So you have essentially three ways to execute the copy command 
inside AutoCAD. You can type out copy, you can type out CO, or you can type out CP. It's up to you. A lot of people have even changed it to just the letter C. Say, so, well, what happens then to the circle command? That's a great question, and I have an answer for you. And we'll get into that here in just a little bit. But we'll go down this list. As you can see, it's quite long. Not every command is in here in AutoCAD, but the majority of them are. Now you'll also notice as you scroll through here that there are command overrides that have been put in place after certain releases. A lot of these are alternatives that get rid of old commands or old functionalities, like the CP. This happened in AutoCAD release 13. AutoCAD 2000, they put these in. Now, in this case, these are commands for discontinued AutoCAD commands, meaning these commands right here in this left column no longer exist. So people were still using them even in AutoCAD 2000 when these commands were gotten rid of. And they didn't want people to get frustrated or to not know how to use the same or similar functionality. So people were putting in DDCHPROP for the change properties command, which was changed. And now you use the properties command. It functioned similarly, but yet had more to it. So when they type in the old command, they got the new one. That made things a lot easier for a lot of people. And that's something that you can do. Again, there's more and more and more. Now, we come down to the bottom. And this is where you should customize your file if you want to. Don't remove anything up here. Don't change anything up here. And I'll tell you why. Because if you ever need to revert back to the default settings, all you have to do is delete what you've done. You don't have to keep track of it in any way. You don't have to manage it in any way. You just put everything down here at the bottom. So this is pretty cool. Now, this is where that circle and copy thing came into play. The way AutoCAD reads this PGP file is that it starts at the very top. It starts here and it reads the aliases that are listed. And it says, okay, 3A is the alias for 3D array. All right, great. It comes down, keeps going, keeps going, and it says, okay, C is for circle. Great. Now, a lot of times people have changed that because they want to use the copy command more than the circle command, so they make C as to be copy, and they'll make CI for circle. So, well, what happens? Do I need to change it here? Well, you can, but don't. Come down here. And let's type in our new commands. We'll type in CI, comma, then we'll tab, make our asterisk, and then type in the circle command. Enter, save the file, and there you go. Now, whenever I type in CI for circle, AutoCAD knows that CI will start the circle command. And I can do this again. C, comma, tab over, asterisk, and copy. Okay. So we have a bit of a conflict here. We have the C command alias in here twice, once for circle up above and once for copy down here. Well, AutoCAD does what it was told last. So it sees literally up here in the top of the file that C is for circle. But when it gets down here, it says C is for copy. It says, oh, okay, it forgets the first one and does the second one. So I can leave everything that AutoCAD has given me intact, but I can add to it or I can change it. And if you say no, I don't like this functionality anymore. I just delete it and everything goes back to my default settings. Perfectly untouched, clean, the way it should be. Just close, save your file, and you have your PGP functionality customized. That's a quick and easy way to make some changes to customize AutoCAD to fit your needs and to fit the way you want to work. I do know a CAD drafter that had changed the PGP file so that all of the commands were available to him with just a left hand on the keyboard. So he put his left hand in the home position for typing and everything was a Q, W, E, R, T, or a Q, Q, or a Q, 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 or a W, you know, et cetera. It took him some time, he said, to train himself to do that, but he said the benefit was that he never moved his hand from the left home position. That's an extreme case, trust me. In fact, I hardly ever customize the PGP file anymore. It's fantastic the way it is, and it's nice. So there are some things that you can use with the keyboard that will help you in your efficiency in using AutoCAD.
Those are the function keys, and those are the command aliases. You can program the aliases very easily, and you can help manage them in a very easy way.